currently looking for something sweet. Today we're going to be making some rose puff pastries. So these are completely vegan. I promise they are not going to be hurting your belly when you eat them. They're just going to be extremely excited you made them. And they're extremely fun to make. So we're going to first start by slicing up our red delicious apples very thinly. There's really no specific way you need to slice the apples, just make sure that it has somewhat of a round edge because it will be the petal for your rose. Go ahead and throw all your apple slices in your bowl, add juice from one lemon, and then you're gonna go ahead and put that in the microwave for about three minutes until the apples are nice and soft. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and make our mango spread. Add about three tablespoons of that in a small microwave safe dish with two tablespoons of water. Give that a nice mix, put that in the microwave for about 30 seconds and set that aside. Let's go ahead and prepare our space for our puff pastry. And go ahead and put some all-purpose baking flour out on your countertop. Get your puff pastry. This one that I'm using is Pepperidge Farm. Uh, it is vegan, there is nothing in here. Uh, eggs or dairy or anything like that. There is a better brand out there I would suggest using. It's Earth Balance. They have much better ingredients in their puff pastries. So you need to give them a try or this one, whichever you prefer. So we're going to go ahead and roll that out and cut this into six slices. Line them up so that way we can go ahead and spread out our mango jam very easily. So you want to just go ahead and add some in there, probably about a tablespoon, spread it out. Then we're gonna go ahead and line our apples up, just kind of slightly overlap them. And once those are all lined up, go ahead and sprinkle some cinnamon on there. Fold the puff pastry from the bottom up, seal the edges, and with extra support in your hand, go ahead and roll that rose up. Wow, that looks so pretty. I absolutely love it. So we're gonna go ahead and put these in a muffin tray for extra support for the rose at 375 for about 40 to 45 minutes. And they will be perfectly supported by the muffin tray. So you can either lightly grease them or you can put little cupcake slips in there like I did. Go ahead and lightly dust with powdered sugar and enjoy guys. Aren't they cute? Oh my god, they're so delicious too. Mm -hmm. 